We are learning new details about Israel's plans for a military strike on Iran. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying Tuesday, the plan is to target military infrastructure rather than oil or nuclear facilities. The revelations come from officials familiar with discussions Netanyahu had with Joe Biden. The move aims to avoid broader conflict amid ongoing tensions, especially with the U.S. presidential election nearing. The planned response follows Iran's second missile attack on Israel in six months. Netanyahu outlined his strategy during a recent phone call to U.S. President Joe Biden. This approach aligns with Washington's preference for a measured response, as Biden has publicly opposed strikes on Iran's nuclear sites. After the call, the U.S. announced it would deploy its terminal high-altitude area defense missile system to Israel. An advanced team of U.S. personnel and components arrived earlier this week, with more expected in the coming days. Israeli officials intend to carry out the strike before the U.S. elections on November 5th. However, some Israeli defense officials question whether targeting military sites will effectively deter Iran from future attacks or advancing its nuclear program. Prominent Israeli figures, including former Prime Minister Neftali Bennett, urge a more direct approach, calling for strikes on Iran's nuclear sites. Despite the pressure, Netanyahu has emphasized the importance of strategic patience, especially as Israel is already engaged in multiple conflicts, including in Lebanon and Gaza. Thousands of Israeli troops have entered Lebanon, and the military has ramped up its offensive against Hamas in Gaza. For more of our unbiased updates, go to the Straight Arrow News app.